Welcome, Aries, singles, totally singles, completely singles. This is your November singles read, Meet the Soulmate. We're using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck, in case you give a darn. And, um, you know, this is an always positive read. And, by the way, normally, always do Aries and Taurus on Mondays. But, forgive me, it's been a hell of hell of physically. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, I'm just running behind. Uh, so it's Tuesday, and I'm going to get your, uh, we got up the uh, heart spread for Aries yesterday, by the way, which reads the one on your mind, one in your heart, mm, kind of a couple's reading, but you don't have to be with them, it's, uh, but this is, I need to be 100% single, because here we're identifying your soulmate, the one that's the right one for you to have, that's why I say it's positive, I mean, uh, it's about as non-triggering as you can get, uh, because of the question. In tarot, I mean, maybe everywhere, the question is maybe more important than the answer. That's the secret, right? If you ask the right question, you almost got the answer. You do with tarot. I'm just saying, if it works, it works. Um, so this question um, is, who is the right one for you? And I'm going to look at their emotional aspects, intellectual, love, and sexual aspects, core values, lifestyle. I call that the four pillars of a relationship. I kind of get a bead on them. But I just kind of use it to get a beat on where they're at. So I'll be describing a lot of their astrology, so keep that in mind. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus uh, for the reading here. And um, I'll call out as I go along. I used to get the Sun, the Moon, the Venus, the Mars, nothing else. Um, sometimes others, uh, more specific things. Astrology, I try to get specific. If it comes, I, I don't mind going real specific. Um, with it uh, so we'll talk about stories that they might tell uh, their childhood usually uh, their how they are intellectually their behavior personality um, this kind of thing so hopefully when we're done you know you'll have an idea what your soulmate is like so nine of swords remember not triggery this is in their emotional aspect they're gonna have the nine of swords over the seven of swords so your soulmate i'm sorry you know i remember when i was really manifesting trying and i remember praying please let her never know a bad day in her life please you know just because i didn't want her sorry this person had a very very difficult childhood i don't know hopefully you can see this uh, or maybe you shouldn't but you don't have to know tarot to look at this card and just how does that make you feel now imagine imagine this is what this card says I'm sorry this is how that child felt this is exactly how the child felt and it's over the seven of swords remember this is your soulmate I didn't say they're perfect I didn't, they're not a saint they're a real human being they're the one that's right for you. That's what I'm asking spirit on the trust in the reading. So don't get triggery. I had a really bad childhood. I'm all right, guy. <laughs> Took a lot of work. A lot of people know what I mean. I do this reading all the time now, and I, I've been psychology all my life one way or another. It's a rare person that has a good childhood. It's a rare person, I think. But this is tough. Um, I I, I kind of want to share a story, but I don't really know if I should because it's from astrology work. <sighs> and, and even it'd be hard not to. It, they they will. I don't know if they're going to tell you this story, uh, but you are their soulmate. They may tell this pretty quick. You know, we tell each other our stories. I look for our stories a lot. And um, you know, it's like they had no one in their corner. They just got hammered, guys. I'm telling you, from every way. Um, I think they have an Aquarius moon. I think it served them well. We'll see an intellectual position, but I bet you anything that they're very bright and they take refuge in their mind. And they had to learn to trust themselves. And I'm going to tell you, thoughts are swords. Communications are swords. Energy. Whew. 
Let me look at their intellect before I say, wow, ten of cups. Told you. <laughs> wow. Golden intellect here. Six of pentacles. Very nice in the intellectual position. The ten of cups over the six of pentacles. So I read the sun here. I feel like it's a cancer person. You know, if you look at this, cancer's the great mother. It's the high summer. Ten of cups, it's emotional. And this couple's very, very happy with their newborn child here. Just kind of lost. That's just so Cancerian, everything about it. Yet with an Aquarius moon. So if you know anything about astrology, well, just note that. If you, it's not hard to get an astrological chart these days. Mostly you can tell by the date. The moon shifts every two and a half days. It can be a little tricky, but there's a lot to between Aquarius moon and Pisces moon or Aquarius moon. Well, I guess there isn't much difference between Aquarius moon and a Capricorn moon, but you should be able to tell. Sun we can get. Now this is in their sexual position, the Page of Cups. And their love energy, the Knight of Wands. I more read the Venus up here, which would be their love energy and sexual energy. Venus and Mars. So often now I see Venus and Mars relating to the emotional column here more. And then you'll see the intellect relating more with the uh, core values and lifestyle, I call it here. Um... Hmm, wow. So, if, if they're here a Cancer, I think they're going to have a Cancer Venus. And it's going to be conjunct their sun. It's, it's looking, the Page of Cups here is looking right at the sun. I believe this is the Venus and, you know, looking at the sun it's uh, uh the cancer sun and the cancer venus um it, the cancer is going to look uh probably like something that needs to be taken care of the cancer venus to the sun i'm thinking um almost like the energy of like a, a puppy approach a dog they know instinctively that it's something to take care of it's not a threat um, so I see this really uh, harmonious uh, relationship between you know, the way they want to express themselves, the way, the way they want to be, which is very loving and Cancerian, um, and the way they love and give love, the way they want to give love, is, it, is simpatico here um, with their son. Um, You know that Six of Pentacles in the intellect, if someone has a very solid intellect, they could, um, probably Taurus Mercury. I think we could have that. Mm -hmm. Cancer, Gemini, Taurus is not impossible. Something very solid. And then the Knight of Wands, that's got to be Leo energy for Mars. So this is coming together. If you look at the sexual, I think the way it relates to the emotional. Um, man, they overcame a lot. Um, and I think it's because they have a good mind. And they know how to use their mind, you know, it's got the scales here. You can't go with Libra because it's not going to work for Mercury, but um, could be their Mercury's in the seventh or their Sun and Venus conjuncts in the seventh or something, bringing in um, Libra energy. Um, so they would be very intuitive and at the same time also capable of just being purely intellectual logical it's a real balance of their mind there uh, usually it means kind of almost you could say left brain right brain They're, they really seem to have a they might be ambidextrous you know 
Um, I think you're going to find that uh, the story they might tell you too, um, they spend a lot of time alone in childhood. Um, and they actually, I don't know how old they are, but this person read books, you know, um, a lot of books. And, and they have a voracious appetite uh, for knowledge, the Aquarius moon. Maybe, maybe that's in the ninth house. Check it at their chart. But I tell you what, if I was going to date, I'm cool. But now, but um, I want to see the chart. <laughs> You know, but were we even like a uh, beat? Sorry, astrologer here. Uh, but I like what they made of this, and I like the way their Venus is looking back at the sun. It's like they they know that they need to focus on themselves, and they need to love themselves. So they they out of their bad experience, instead of getting bitter and and, and projective and angry, they uh, they learn to self soothe and to um, take care of themselves. And I think they're very lucky because I think they have a very good mind. You might find that their IQ is literally at the genius level. Uh, but not only that, uh, they have an emotional intelligence that, you know, it's a cliche, you know, like the Sheldon, right? Character, the Aspie character that so, has such a high IQ, but doesn't get the simplest social cues. Um, so then they're not like that. It's a real balance, you know. Um, but this would be someone that understands emotional vulnerability, emotional language, uh, emotional intelligence. Um, and sexually, I think it's going to be amazing. I mean, um, and they're going to bring a lot of fire energy I suspect there's some fire energy to the personality anyways. It's Mars might be strong for them. It's a fixed fire. So, you know, you know, the kind of thing where, you know, Cancer, they say, well, I'm on the cusp of Leo. Not really. So you just got energy in Leo, uh, personal energy. You know, of course, you could always have a rising, right? Um, but, you know, it makes that Leo energy can be strong sometimes, and it'll show through, and they say, well, I don't believe in astrology because they say I'm a Cancer, but I act like a Leo. Um, so you may see that in just the way they act, which is, uh, you know, they light up a room, they're warm. Cancers can be like that too, but they would be more overt about it. And, um, you know, um, huggers, you know, um, gushing greetings, things like this. I mean, it's a night of wands, it's coming in there, you know. And I mean, sexually, I think you look to them just be dominant and very, very healthy and very fire. Like, you know, it's going to be on, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, fire signs, you know, you don't beat around the bush, fire Mars. Um, so it's your soul mates also, so if they come quick, they know why. Um, and I don't think it would be a problem because they're going to come at you mostly with this cancer energy too. And it's going to be so caring. And kind of warm um, that you'd be like, take me. <laughs> Maybe I'm projecting. <laughs> uh, Queen of Swords is going to be over. The High Priestess. Holy moly. This is in their core values and their lifestyle, guys. Wow. So this kind of going, this Queen of Swords, I mean, you can see it here if you just look at the color similarities. Let's kind of look at that. This is their emotional life that was so difficult their childhood I think this is a neglect verbal abuse but kind of severe a mother father possibly absent mother narcissist not good guy so uh, Queen of Pentacles your personal person here they very well could be a psychologist a counselor a social worker um, masters in social work that does counseling uh, someone that manages a, a, a grief uh, counseling or spousal abuse or uh, they could be an activist too with the Queen of Swords someone that speaks out um, someone that runs a nonprofit with the High Priestess they're pulling on this they're very intuitive this person um, I would not be surprised if this person was into eighth house stuff tarot astrology whatever um, it could go so many ways Kabbalah Buddhism uh, 
mystic Christianity, um, the high priestess here, this is a big deal for them. So the way they want to be in life is they want to be in control, and I think you can see why with their childhood, with the Queen of Swords, and they're willing to make that happen. Like, they're willing to work and make a good home, but by God, they will have a good home. And, you know, they want to have, like, control over their home. But they want to do something entirely uh, intuitive, something that calls to them. It's kind of spiritual in nature. My guess is they're doing it, and it probably draws upon directly this uh, terrible childhood. I can very much relate myself in, in some levels to that. Um, you know, and I love the high priestess to cover to the deck, you know, it's the hollow bone, you know, channel the high priestess all day long. So your person here is very special. Um, they've gone a long way to get here. Thank you guys. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell. I do appreciate it if you would subscribe. It helps a lot.